Hi everybody, welcome to my studio. My name is Lars Eric Robinson. My company is Lars Arts, All Around Artainment. And my slogan is basically I deal with anything that has to do with art and anything that has to do with entertainment. Today we're uh, talking about a piece here and I've been just playing around doing different experiments with this. And we're going to talk about how to use um, water with your acrylics. And that's the basic thing that it actually uses with acrylics. And that's why a lot of people like it because it's uh, it's closer to watercolor and, and it's it's less you know less toxic. Not to breathe it in as much as you know oils. And like I mentioned before, acrylics is a nice underpainting technique because you can go on top of this with oils. But you obviously can't do it the other way around. You can't start with oils and then do the other. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually adding my water to my brush first, and then add it to the paints. And you want to mix it in with the paints until it becomes half kind of the texture that you have of your paint and half water. And once you get that, then you can notice that you can apply it really, it goes on there really strong. So once again, if you start noticing it goes away, you add it to your paint again, push down and apply. And sometimes it could even, it, it, it helps because I can really thin this out now and actually just Let's see, where do we want to add that? We could actually just add it right over something like here. You think, what is he doing? Why is he going over the whole piece? You can actually take this water down paint and go over your whole piece. And you're going to notice here in a second what I'm going to do. We'll go just do it over half of it. So now it's a lot darker. Now you take a dry sponge or a dry towel and the areas where you know the light's hitting, you can just actually rub it off. And this is called a, a dry rub out, rub out uh, technique. You want to create this top of this lid here, you just take it like that. Keep turning your sponge around so you get a dry air part and clean part of it. So you do this flat. If you will lay this surface down flat like this, it won't keep running. So as you notice, maybe you want to have that take, maybe you want to have that look. But if you don't want to have that, you lay it down flat so it doesn't run. See? Some ways of using water. So water is a definitely a good way of, of glazing a, a painting to thin it out a lot. And you always have to use water to mix in with your paints anyway to get to get it to go flow good. So that's one way to be able to do acrylics. Thank you so much.